Proudly sponsored by Silhar.co.za and African Billionaire Events Management. Welcome to Selhard Western Cape. I'm your host, George Morales, and today our auditions continue, and this is exactly what happened. Introduce yourself to us, Portia. Introduce myself. Well, my name is Portia, and I'm 28 years old. So I'm working in a call center. And what do you sell? I'm selling benefits. You need to sell yourself. You need to have a chat with us. Um, Okay, let's wrap up. Mark, it's a no for yes or no? It's a no for me. Trace? Uh. <laughs> it's a yes from me. That's a no from me. Sorry. You got it. Why can't you? She's got her children. <laughs> did, did, you, did you made it? No, unfortunately not. Whoever can give us the best. <laughs> you know, salespeople are crazy by nature. So I think the crazier, the better. So if I can find 20 guys that can actually just entertain the crowd and just take it to another level, I'll be happy with everybody taking part in the show. I want to say something about other camera. Uh, okay, okay. see. You're, you're hot. It's <laughs> <laughs> got that. It's got that. It's got that. It's got that on camera, right? It's, that's why I'm entering this competition. It's through you guys, because you're going to help me raise my long-term goal. That is getting proper sales training from sales groups like yourself. So the part is one of the best sales groups in the country. <laughs> yeah, but you didn't say I'm on YouTube. See, what does he know about sales? Ah! <laughs> <laughs> We got a swap. <laughs> okay, guys, let's wrap it up. I think that's a mock. Definitely a yes. I think it's great. See that Yes. Yes. Let's go. Well done. It was super. Hey, man, how did it go? I we were. No man. <laughs> Seriously, it was. Seriously, to tell you the truth, it was not what I expect. It was like doing a normal sales pitch at work on my phone. Hello, Charles. We're happy to see you here. Um, I'm delighted to be here too. Can you tell us a little bit about yourself? Well, uh, my name is Charles Tony. I'm 28 years old. I'm originally from Nikopo province. I'm a social entrepreneur. Uh, I consider myself an up-and-coming sales guru because I'm very persuasive. I have excellent communication skills. I'm very dynamic. Um, I'm, a, I'm a very motivated person. I'm very inspired. I'm a kind of a guy that can come up in a room and lighten it up. You know, I have positive energy. Uh, in all my entire life, it's been from one adversity up to the other. But no matter how many times I go down, I always find my way up. At the moment, I'm working for an NGO called Dream Worker. It's a non-profit organization that helps unemployed people find work. So I'm doing marketing and research. Why do you want to be on this reality show? You know, for me, for me, for me, this is going to be a, a turning point in my life. You know, I want to be in the show because I want to 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 network with great people. I mean, such as you, and and I've seen the opportunities of of starting a new company, of which I'm an entrepreneur. I've got a lot of skills and. I see a perfect shortcut for me to realize my dream of being a partner in a company and that's one of the reasons that 
why I want to be in the show. Of course, the trip to Istanbul is too. <laughs> yeah. So Charles, let us know, how did it go with the judges? Well, it went exceedingly and abundantly very well. I mean, I knew that the moment that I stepped in, I'm not going to give them an option. When we come back, you're going to see more contestants trying to win the auditions for Selhard Western Cape. We'll be right back. personality and your confidence yeah. and that spark to the table because that's what's going to sell you yeah. and that product at the end of the day because people buy in to you as well as whatever product you're trying to sell them yeah so if you come out with the right attitude and the chutzpah can yeah. i say what is it what does that word mean <laughs> chutzpah. Chutzpah, what's that word mean? <laughs> chutzpah is like the the drive the what yeah language? In what language i don't know maybe i made it up <laughs> I'm going to hashtag start a trend. Okay, hashtag, good start. Hashtag start a Sell on Western Cape. <laughs> hashtag sell on WC. Hashtag good start. <laughs> Introduce yourself. Tell us what you do. Okay, well, my name is Jackie. I'm 33. I work for Science National. Before we get any further, I just want to ask, where are you staying in Cape Town while you're here? 15 in Orange. And how do you like it there? Very nice hotel. Have you ever thought of maybe trying the best breakfast in Cape Town? Well, if you're inviting me, I shouldn't look at it, yeah. I would love to have you come to the table there. Can I? I'm actually, I won't do it now. After this, I'll give you our brochure, because I'm based at the Table Bay Hotel. If you haven't stayed there, you can even see out. You should go check out. Well, let me have what do you do at the Table Bay Hotel? Um, I'm a key account sales manager. I look after group sales, and my portfolio is the Western Cape, so I look after corporates, mostly group sales at conferences. But not just the Table Bay. I work for Sun International, so Sun City, um, Grand West, Fisher of Sun, all of our properties under Sun well, I do need a bit of a holiday. We all feel a bit of a time. We all lately have been yeah, yeah. <laughs> tiring judges. Oh, these people. Oh, you guys are coming to the right place. I'm glad I brought Russia. Yes. Why would you want to take part in this competition? Well, I was intrigued when I heard about it because I want to push myself. And I didn't know there was going to be, sorry if this is going to sound gender biased, but I didn't know if there was going to be enough women in this contest. Because when you think about sales, you think about guys. And I just wanted to prove that chicks can do it too. We can do it. And at the end of the day, I'm the one who's living away from boss. I read your story, I am inspired, I am like totally in awe. I actually want to get your book and just read it in full. You, you can get a copy book. when you leave, just make sure she gets oh. a copy. The question was just a little bit more about sales. What is it that you love about selling? My kind of selling, I'm not like your average salesperson. I find I put even integrity and I'm more of an honest relationship ah. selling kind of person. Oh, see, we had a whole debate <laughs> earlier. So you don't believe in telling the lies that will film straight down, no. honest, or Mubin, you want to go first? It's a definite yes. Mark? It's a definite yes for me. Yeah, Grace? Thank you. Well, Sun City does look pretty good. I'm sorry. What's it? Tracy, we'll check it out. I'll check it out. We'll check it out. No. Close the deal. Close the deal. No, I'm just joking. No, I think that you came in and you presented yourself really well. And um, yeah, so it's a definite yes for me. Thank you. It's a definite yes for me too. Oh, Four yes. yeses! Yay! Oh, my God. Well, I just walked in there and I asked them, well, I actually asked Mubin, because I know he's from Joburg, which hotel he's staying at, because I am a sales manager at a hotel group. And I asked him why he wasn't staying at our hotel, and I invited him for breakfast. So Dean, let us know, how was the interview with the judges? Um, it was nerve-wracking, you know, you're being, being judged by, by four people who, who, you know, you respect their opinion, you, um, you get a bit nervous and judgy, but I think I, I handled it, I think... Um, I think I handled it. What do you think of the feedback that they gave you? Uh, they are right. Hi there, what's your name? Dean Almeida. Dean? Almeida. Almeida. Yes. Nice to meet you. Thank you. Tell us a bit about yourself. What um, do you do? As a profession, uh, I study psychology. 
Um, I use psychology and, and its pulls in sales skills. I've tried a little bit of uh, training in the call center industry. Um, and I serve a, a lot of functions in the sporting industry, sporting codes. I'm a middleweight uh, South African boxer. So. Ah. I serve as a public relations for South African Deaf Rugby. You didn't give the guy last night a black eye because we had a guy. No, man, are we going to see this? I saw this. <laughs> uh, no, I, I don't know. You box in the ring, not in the, in the pub. Yeah, no, that's. Yeah, he's middleweight. That's like what the light is. That's what the Well, the mental understanding of a person's mentality is, you know, a person's buying signals, I think, is the first and foremost. Really just understand people. You understand people, you understand why they're buying. You're not a textbook salesperson. What do you think makes a good salesperson? Uh, yeah, too much. You know, it really takes a, it takes something else. You, it's all about relationships. I think um, you take a lot. You're almost like a, you know, you, you're in this industry, I suppose. You know, you, you take a lot of shots, and, and you can't deliver me. You know, it's, it's really holding your tongue. <laughs> I'm boxing boxing for the shots. Yeah. You mean <laughs> shots or you mean shots? Yeah, because the first guy that came here took a couple of shots. Yeah. Well, he, he was after a couple of shots. After a couple of shots. <laughs> yeah. He took a few shots. <laughs> then you've got a re you've got a very dry like. I don't know. I'm still. You're just not energetic. You yeah. Know. You, you yeah. say the right things and you've got a dry sort of a dry personality. Yeah, I don't know. I could say that. Yeah. yeah. Nice as well. Hey. <laughs> You can up the pitch a little bit. Up the pitch a little bit. Animate a touch. Yeah. <laughs> show us something. Show Animate us something. a little bit. Hey, show us something. <laughs> well, I could, Katy Perry, I could break down like Lord herself, but it's, uh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> no, no, no. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I feel doing great. You know, I, I saw myself and uh, if you're going to have a brain in your head, you're always going to say yes to me. What do you expect of the a reality show? As a reality show, I, like, I expect to be a star, you know? So uh, I set the bar high for myself. How are you? Good and you? Very good. 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 Yes. What's your name? My name is Evan Hill. Evan Hill. That's good. Welcome, Evan Hill. Thank you. Tell us a bit about yourself. Uh, as you can hear from my accent, I'm American. Emigrated to this country in 2000. Uh, my family moved here for uh, sort of an extension of an NGO that they were already running in the United States and other places in the world. What kind of hours would you put in in a day? Well, look, I, I have to source my own leads. So obviously I look for other advertisers in competing publications or I see things on TV or, you know, it's obviously knowing your market and researching, uh, you know, who's currently marketing at the moment. From there, 8.30 to 5.30. What do you think are some of the best closing techniques out there? Look, it's all about gauging the interest of your client. So if this guy says to you, uh, yeah, no, I'll look at it, like the typical objection sent me an email, you didn't sell him enough and you can't close him now on that phone call because your opening wasn't good enough. So closing, it all has to do with how much you develop that interest in the beginning of the phone call. You can see that he's been textbook trained. And I that's what that's what I want to see if you're natural because everything you're saying is textbook study. You, can, you definitely read all the books completely. I can see that. And I think Mubin can pick that up as well. You've definitely been trained to the T. But are you a natural? What I would answer that question is I've been picking up girls in bars for years. <laughs> <laughs> but I'll, I'll tell you answer. what. Okay, here we go. That's a good answer. How would you pick up Tracy? She's <laughs> already in a relationship. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. That is good. That is good. I love this. I'll tell you. But let's say she was single. Let's say she was single. <laughs> well, I mean, obviously, it's first compliment. You know, so you gotta compliment her first of all, that gets you in the door, but then you don't want to be just like everybody else. No. You know, because she's a beautiful girl, I come up to her and say, well, you have beautiful eyes, she's gonna be like, okay, thanks. <laughs> so I would do something slightly different, you know, if she's standing at the bar next to me, I'm standing there, Sally? <laughs> <laughs> I love it. She's gonna be going, oh, no, no, it's Sally. Sally, it's you. <laughs> she's in here, she's gonna go, oh, that's not my name, and what, what, what do you mean? I'll say, Oh, sorry, you look like this girl that, you know, I had a thing with that I never phoned back. So sorry. <laughs> I really felt bad. Um, I'm sorry, it's not you. I apologize. You look just like her. And now she's going to think in her head that there's some girl out there that looks exactly like her that I rejected years ago. <laughs> oh, you I don't want to give away all my secrets, you know, because then uh, the rest of the girls out there, then they, they get a little bit, they know about me, and then it's not going to work anymore, you know. But uh, yeah, I did try to pick her up. They asked me to, they, you know, so I think I did well. That was a good move, man. Congratulations and welcome to the show.
Through your generous contributions and fundraising, we have raised thousands of rands which go to supporting long-term sustainable change in many of our educational institutions. Today, members of our program, together with our business partners, are with the Save a crew to visit schools in the community in order to see how the money is being spent. Visiting these schools to see how the money is being spent is tremendously inspiring. It's also very reassuring to see that your support is getting right into the heart of the communities, making a vast difference to people's lives. So I can go to school. So I have books to read. So that I have opportunities. So I can teach. So that my community will be stronger. So that we can have the future we dream of. On behalf of Save SA, our business partners and the children who need your help, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And good. I love Save SA. What do you do for them, Luma? I'm selling shoes for Green Cross. For? Green Cross. Green Cross. I've never worn Green Cross in my life. Sell me a pair very quickly. Okay, uh, Green Cross shoes uh, are made specifically for the company. They're all about the compact shoes. Under, under air. So, so basically what you're trying to say in a sentence, you're walking on air. It's, like, it's all about the end. It's like Green Cross shoes give you more power to you. You know, to you. More effort to like, you know, Green Cross advert, just the motion. <laughs> but they're not the best looking shoes. So, I mean, you have to accept that if you're going to have comfort, you're not necessarily going to have style. We're right now with Live Wired. He just finished his interviews with the judges. How do you feel, man? I feel ecstatic. Thank you very much. You know, it was an honor, it was a privilege for me to be here today, you know. Okay, can you introduce yourself? Yeah, my name is, um, birth name is Oliver Guinea Wood you know, aka Livewire. Livewire, why do you call live yourself Livewire? Live yeah, well, it's basically, you know, um, Livewire being who I am, you know, I put the spark there, you know. I'm one of those dudes that can sell ice cream in the desert as well, you know. So. What did you do for a living, Mr. Livewire? <laughs> what I do for a living, I'm lifting, man, you know. I'm an entrepreneur, man. I sell my food to the region of Cool, you know what I'm saying? Entrepreneur, that's your game, Ruby. Yeah, man, you know what I'm saying? I'm a very type of man, and I speak more than five languages as well, you know. You speak five languages? Yeah, yeah. What, what do you sell again? I sell fruit and veg, you know, oranges, potatoes, carrots. And what makes you very different from any other guy selling fruit and veg? The way I do it. Mm -hmm. And you want to share that with us? Um, I've got my punch lines I use, you know. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I do my thing. Give us one or two. Give us one or two. <laughs> you know, but like, like it's something that I always say to the people when they come park the cars or they on the red road, what I tell them that. Ladies and gentlemen, if you can't take time out to plant a tree, in A or five in global warming, at least buy some fruit. <laughs> I love that. Yeah. So, 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 so selling yourself is not a problem because yeah, if you can no sell problem. fruit, that's a very, very daily commodity that everybody's selling. And if you can do it with such charisma, selling yourself is not going to be a problem for you, would it? It would be. Sell yourself. This thing. If I could sell myself, maybe a bad down history of where my selling technique comes from, you know what I'm saying? Um, I used to work for one of the top three other companies up in South Africa, you know, I used to be a play, uh, other investment company called Flexi Club, you know. I worked there for less than a year, but I was already awarded this top consultant for three months consecutively. You know, so I used to deal with the big guns as well. You know, I used to sell investments at the thousand, three hundred thousand, five hundred thousand. The least I sold was ninety thousand. You know, so selling myself depends on how I sell myself on what basis I'm being sold. In, you know, so you can sell yourself in just to make the money. You can sell yourself on the passion that you have. You know, what it takes to sell yourself. So, so what's your passion? My passion, my family. You know? Friends, my loved ones, those are trusted my Lord. It is in pure majesty, King Celestia, you know. God first, everything after, you know. Even if I don't make it, if I do, I know I stand for. I don't have to rearrange myself. Just right there, I sold myself to you. I remind. 
I like that you have to rearrange yourself. It's quite profound. Mr. Livewire, you're quite, you're quite, you're quite, you're quite, you're quite, a, you're quite an interesting you know, character. Live wire, my name is Oliver, sir. So when you take away the O, you take away the R, you get live. Live. Yeah. Yeah. Where does the wire come from? Uh, my birthplace, or Shakati Shalangomis, uh, that is in Southwest African Namibia. Ah, okay. Namibia Vinduk, yeah. My dad is Shwamu, my mother is South African, of course. So I speak Shwamu, I speak English. I got the guys who have the same say, you know, I didn't know fun with that. That's right. Um, I've got, of course, I've got Sutra and I've got one as well, you know what I'm saying? So we would tackle any type of people that come forth and anything I have to sell to them, you know what I'm saying? Language barrier, sorry, you ain't no problem for me. So you say that you came from Namibia yeah. and all of that. What brought you to Cape Town, to the big city? I brought me to Cape Town, you know. Raised by grandma and grandpa because I'm one of the old Pazakim, you know. Mm -hmm. I'm one of those dudes that were told to go to school, you know. I did my thing, but when my school books had to be in time, it had to be in time, you know. I'm a chick lady in 2005, it's been a while, which is an interesting thing. You know what I'm saying? I've got a driver's license. I don't own the car, you know. But what I own is what I have, you know. My charisma, my talent, and my own. You know, I want to be someone like no one wants to be at the back, no one wants to be uh, you know left behind, nobody wants to be seen with the other woman. Nobody wants to be seen with the other woman. Nobody wants to be seen with the other woman. Hey, hey, everybody, everybody. Hey, no one wants to be seen with the other woman. What's the association between money and woman quickly? Come on, what's the association there? The association. Because I have a little chat I have with my nephew. Yeah. Where we talk about that, but I just want to hear your viewpoint. You want to shoot quickly? In a nutshell, woman is valued. Woman is run. This the woman of this the nation. If you have left a woman, feed the nation. Hey! <laughs> yeah, yeah. So for me to go into car sales, I'll go into car sales as an opportunity for me, but you know, this is for me right now. Play hard, work hard, you know. It's so live boy, why do you want to enter this competition? Why do I enter Why do you want to be? Is it to be on TV? Do you want to have you know what do you want, what do you want to get out of it? To be very honest with you, ladies and gentlemen, to create a life for myself and others first and foremost. You know, you know we need to be someone in life. You know, it's not about the glitz and the clan. When the camera goes off and the light shot off, you will be a mortal person again. So it's the change that you bring, you know. You can have the cash, but what are you going to do with it? How are you going to implement it? Are you going to be just in the sky high and think that you're only with the big dogs, you can't eat with the savages no more? <laughs> for me, it's always to make a change. And you know, if I could be a motivational speaker or sell cars, I'll do that. But if this is an opportunity for me to push through what Granny feel belongs to me, they say in life, as a thing, but you ask me to leave and you know, you have to get the car, the work, and the position, your blessing and purpose. Maybe this might be it. You know, Bean, you need to get this guy on stage with us. Yeah. With Robin I, Sharma I, I or James Carter or someone else. You need to I'm get this guy on stage. And I, and I tell you what, I've seen the biggest people in the business talk. Yeah. Okay. And you're obviously not an international speaker or anything of that sort. So I obviously take videos of international speakers. I look at them and I say, okay, that guy can work. And I promise you, looking at you and the way you speak, impromptu, I'd put you on stage anytime. Any time, any time. Because you, I you. And, and I'll, tell you, I'll tell you why I would do it and what inspires me about you. You've got your why right. You see, if your why is to make money, you'll be broke forever. But if your why is something greater than money, you will always be successful. And you've got that right. So for me, if, I to, if you had to ask me where do I see you in five years' time, I'd probably see you wherever your goals want to be, whether it's that BMW or wherever you want to school your kid. I, I, see, you school sitting here, I see you sitting here next to us in five years' time. Could well be. Okay, can we wrap this up? Walk? Yes or no? I say yes. Trace? Absolutely, 110% yes. Mubin, I know what you're thinking. He's left me speechless, what can I say? Yes, yes from me too. Mr. Livewire. Welcome, Welcome to the show. Well done, well done. Yeah, I just finished my, you know, my audition. And yeah, I made it. As you can see, this is what you receive that you made it. I'm looking forward to it. And yeah, all the great things more. If I say CTICC in Cape Town, am I being redundant? <laughs> you can't see, you can't see any Britney Spears. <laughs> Action. When we come back. No, no, no. It's time. <laughs> I'm not doing a Britney. <laughs> we just, we have, okay, hold on. <laughs> you need chutzpah or nice chutzpah? Okay. I'm still like Mrs. Africa. <laughs> <laughs> Bring your chutzpah, people. <laughs> chutzpah.
Well, that's a wrap. I hope that you guys enjoy the show. Next week on Selhar Western Cape, you will meet our top contestants and their life stories. Stay tuned. Hi, my name is Louis Fortune and welcome to uh, Louis Takeaways. But today you will have a good burro was wrong. My name is Ziad Hattas. I am 33 years old. Hi, I'm Danford Africa, 26 years old from Wellington in the Western Cape. Hi, my name is Ricardo Litago. Um, we are at Elsie's High in, uh, on the corner of Franci van Zijl and Halt Road. Hi there, I'm Lionel Luttering. I'm coming from Elsie's River. I was born and bred in a place called Salboro. Hi, um, assalamu alaikum. I am Khaira Fredericks. Hi, I'm Luana Schoenfeld. Okay, well, it, it was with um, the Diabetes Association. Hello, I'm Tato Theodore Libelo. No, you, no you, can't, you can't, I'm on TV, I'm on TV! You can't come now. I'm gonna get you a tie as well, you'll need a tie. Proudly sponsored by Silhar.co.za in African Billionaire Events Management.